So this is the overview of workshop four, the request of students. Uh, so I'm going to post a recording afterwards on the uh, workshop page. Um, uh, before we begin, any specific question that you have that you want me to go through, like any, um, uh, let me just, um, any, anyone have any questions before I start? Any, um, yes. go ahead. Yeah, actually, I have a question about the uh, the function introduction in the uh, in, in the function book is similar to there is a I don't know maybe it's a typo or where in the function book it's similar to similar is similar to okay so let's uh, let's so so we'll go through it and we'll find that so. Um, we create a car so essentially the main over here for you the main program is a car inventory and it wants you to, to create uh, a class for a car so it can keep inventory with it with it so that's what the uh, program is supposed to do you create a car module that has a, um, a type it has a brand model year code and uh, inventory code and uh, um, and that and the price of the car okay so um, you gotta have the default constructor and uh, and a, a regular constructor to uh, to create your your car the private member function uh, member variables are set to be type brand and model that are all dynamic and you have year code and price that are uh, 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 regular variables that you are setting to values and the validation for this whenever you need to do is for the uh, type not to be uh, null or empty, brand not to be null or empty, model the same, and uh, for a year to be greater than 1990, code to be a three-digit integer, and price to be greater than zero. And that's the validation that you're going to uh, do through it, go through it. For the default... Sorry for that. Yes. Interrupting. Um, I should notice that we're not recording. Uh, I am recording locally, so let's record over here too. There we go. <laughs> thank oh, you. Okay. No uh, I'm going to post the YouTube one. It's better, but thank you for reminding. That's a backup. Um, yeah. So uh, just to repeat quickly, uh, we, we are creating a class that has three dynamic memory, dynamic uh, strings, C strings, and it has three um, primitive values to set. Um, the dynamic one should not, should be not null or empty and year greater than 1990, code three digit, and price greater than zero. The default constructor of the, let me just turn off my screen. I don't need the over there. There we go, turn off my uh, uh, video. So uh, the, um, uh, the, the default constructor of the car should essentially uh, set the information to its default values. And if later on you'll see there is a reset info that reset info is the values that you have to set in your default constructor so you can reuse that function. For setting up the function, you have a function called set info that's going to be used to set the values of the uh, car. So that's going to be your regular constructor over there. It's just a six argument constructor that you're creating. Um, in your reset information, uh, you are going to uh, set the values to uh, uh, at safe empty state, which essentially means all the uh, uh, pointers will be set to null PTR and all the values to be set to zero. Um, and for set information, what you do is uh, um, first you have to make sure that you delete all the information. So all the information that is that are wiped out. So uh, brand type model if it's already set to something it's going to be wiped out and then after that standard rule of dynamic memory allocation so when you're setting something first you wipe everything off then you are going to do a validation and if the validation best based on the validation rules that we have over here passes then you will set the information to uh, do the dynamic memory allocation and uh, uh, copy the values, set the values over here and if validation in any case doesn't pass through you reset the information uh, uh, using the reset information um, are we okay now to this point let me just start a poll are we okay down to this point
all right okay also uh, I have to let me start my backup session over here in case something goes wrong all right um, workshops four All right, so, sorry, I have to create a backup session in, ca in case uh, this fails. I have another one, so let me just set it up. There we go. Now, let's continue. So, uh, uh, we, we're okay. Uh, Claire, are we okay with this? Uh, Claire is listen only, so she won't be able to answer. Please do not join my class. My sessions as listen only. Please use a microphone. Anyways, so... Uh, Print information, print it in the following format so you can exactly see uh, 10 spaces for this, 16 spaces, 16, 999, so on and so forth. So it prints type, brand, model, year, code, and price exactly in the format that you see. So please do so. You know how to how it's done. Uh, there is um, no uh, problem with that. And you'll see the output so it shows what it is. Uh, the is valid function returns if it's valid. So all the things that we mentioned up there is going to be returned as boolean to be it's if the contents already saved inside uh, the object is valid or not. Uh, is similar to you said there is a typo. You were telling what is the typo over here? Uh, yes, in here, no question asked us to check the type, the make, the brand, and then the year. I'm, I'm confused about the make. Is, is it a typo or let something? So let me see what's going on here. So, um, uh, so it's this function is to check whether type, make. We don't have a make in here? Yes, it should be in the... Oh, uh, it should be, uh, yeah, it should be the model. brand. I think not you mentioned brand but it doesn't mention the model so 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 I have so I have to fix that thank you thank you so let me let me double check make sure that we are okay and thank you very much it is a typo it is a typo that I missed and all the professors sadly missed so yeah so so everything should so if everything is the same other than the other than uh, the inventory code, it's a similar car, right? That's essentially what it is. So uh, it should check type make. So that's let me let me fix that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fix it in the repo. Let me bring up the repo so I can push easily to both. Where's the repo? Repo, 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 repo. I'm gonna go here. Op two four four workshops pull let me just pull the changes first Yochi, you're my uh, um, it, you know what I you always get my uh, get the typos and stuff in here please send me a note on teams um, if you do something like that, and I'll make it up to you. Thank you very much. It's really <laughs> nice that you're doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Thank you. So let me open with Mark Dan Munster. So this is what we have. We are having car module and we were at similar to okay so uh, this function checks so that type uh, type brand and model type brand model and year of the object so car is equal to another object class she returns true only if all those values match there we go. 
Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to actually go through this one. I'm going to continue on this one if something goes bad. So uh, it's similar to does that. So we have series of global uh, global helper functions that has similar, essentially goes through every single element of the car and compares them two by two. If there are any similar functions, it's similar uh uh, cars it returns true it means yes in your inventory you have several similar cars it returns a true and that's the logic for it so you, it's very simple uh, to go through it any problem with this uh, has similar any question about this okay so it returns true if it has an invalid car in a car array otherwise it returns false which means you have to go through every single car and check to see if the value is valid or not um, so uh, that's um, uh, what it is so there's no, nothing wrong over there uh, the print function goes through every single car and one by one it's going to print them uh, as exactly as you see in the uh, in the program so essentially uh, this is what it's going to get. One by one, it's going to go through them and set them up. Okay. So, um, and that is that. It's um, a very simple workshop, actually. Uh, any questions about the in lab? Yes, go ahead, uh, Vici. Go ahead. Uh, yes, um, Professor, I still have a question, but uh, it's similar to. Oh, it's no. similar to. Okay, good. All right, go ahead. Yeah. This function, yes. let, me, let me read this function, is to check whether the type, brand, model, and year, type, brand, mother, model, and year, yes, of the object are equal to another. Yes, you were saying. Okay, yeah, uh, actually, before we check the type, brand, model, and the year, should we set, uh, should we check the, uh, the object is valid? Your choice, or... what do you think? If an, object, if an object is invalid, can it be similar to something? No. So the answer is, it's going, okay. to, you're going to return false. Obviously, you have to do that. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so, okay that's it. thank you. All right, so that's the, that's the kind of a obvious thing that you have to do. That's why it's not mentioned, okay? Okay, so uh, 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 again, go ahead. What else? I see somebody raise hand. Uh, hi, hi. Hi. Hi, Father. Uh, I have a general question about the workshop. Because last time I workshop free DIY part, I received um, like a message I mentioned uh, in my course, I have unnecessary multiple return statements or yes. exit function use. I'm not sure what, what does it mean because I check all of my function each if of them just have one return state. So if that's the case, then show me the code. So pr mm. that's, that's uh, by the way, for those who are listening to recordings, that's the feedback that I sent to my students. So um, mm. uh, see me online. If you see mm. there is something that doesn't make sense, obviously, mm. let's go do a code review together. As okay, I mentioned, okay. all my students uh, don't, uh, if you, I strongly suggest to book an appointment with me at least once before the midterm, because mm -hmm. after that I'm not here. Let me go through your, all your code and give you a thorough feedback one by one instead mm -hmm. of sending an email. So everything's okay. going to be clear. If that's okay. the case, maybe I made a mistake. Mm, okay, okay. I can send you an email on Teams. Thank you. Yeah, just send me a, a message on Teams and we're going to set an appointment and I'm going to make sure everything is in workshop zero and then I'm going to mm -hmm. bring it up. Uh, I'm hmm. going to uh, pull your repository. We'll go through your code. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, so any anyone else? Yes, I do have a question. Um, so I bet for the DIY part, we can pretty much do it however we want. But for the lab, are we allowed to create some extra helpful for, functions? Yeah, for the, see, for the lab, as long as you have all the functions the lab requires, you can add as many as you want and that's no problem okay got as it. long Thank as you. you have has similar now if for this you want to use another functions it would be cool if you make those functions private you follow or yes. or if it's in another module then you add the utils to it you know that right 
Yeah. So all these, yeah, by all means, of course you can. Yes. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. All right. So uh, the next things uh, uh, we're gonna go through the DIY. So DIY is essentially it is to create. We want we want to have a fleet of robots that are going through, and we want to find out where the robots are and everything. So for that, we need to uh, uh, create a specific type of uh, class called uh, a, a, ro a cleaner robot, and that cleaner robot is going to be handled by our main application. That's what we are doing. So uh, you're going to have a default constructor for the robot. Um, and uh, uh, which uh, sets everything to uh, sets the object to a to a, uh, to a safe empty state, and then you have uh, a robot that gets the, a, a constructor that receives the location battery brush and active, and sets the values uh, the way they are supposed to be. And uh, um, when we are when we are talking about a, a cleaner robot. Uh, that we are asking you to have location battery brush and active and remember that location should be done dynamically okay that's very important so you have to have the location dynamically set uh, we have modifiers which are essentially uh, methods that they can change the object uh, we call the uh, one is set that uh, uh, will set the, uh, the the properties of the robot it does the standard thing, which means if for the dynamic one first, it's going to delete it, then it's going to set it up and sets all the primitive value and returns the reference of the of the cleaner robot out. Uh, set location uh, will um, only set the location of the of the robot to a specific place. So uh, when you call set location, you have to do dynamic memory allocation, and you know again. Uh, the rules and laws of, of, of doing uh, dynamic memory first you have to remove the first one delete the first one and then create new one and so on and so forth so that's how you set the location uh, set active set active sets the robot to active or or inactive by setting the flag um, then uh, you have queries for getting the location which essentially returns the address of the uh, location uh, get battery returns the, uh, the the battery property get brush returns the uh, brush property and active returns if it's active or not uh, the is valid will return if the location is not null and uh, the battery is greater than zero and brush is greater than zero greater than or equal zero so that's the uh, um, the uh, methods that you are going to write the display function specifically shows you exactly how things are done so you can exactly see what is the width and everything everything is set over there so you can see the example for it um, and uh, uh, you have a, a, a report function uh, that uh, what it does it uh, um, uh, this function receives just want to make sure that uh, and I'm so, so, yeah so what your report will do with uh, will create a report uh, as you see over here with uh, all the information that robots have and uh, uh, if uh, there are uh, any uh, low battery ones it's going to actually specify that uh, we have a low battery uh, um, uh, robot inside the the array of robots so this uh, bot over here is actually uh, 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 the array that we are receiving and uh, our fault i think this should have been cons that we didn't do and that's a big boo-boo uh, but it's too late to fix it so uh, report should be uh, constant and this does not need to be constant it's absolutely not necessary so uh, my apologies on this this short does not need to be const and this should be const so the const from here should go over here so that's uh, how it's supposed to be um, let me just uh, uh, say correction so this will not change the so I'm gonna write over here and do like this 
this will not change the outcome but is the correct uh, signature of the report okay so uh, but let me just check something over here beforehand I have to see if no I think a report actually changes but anyways short is not supposed to be const so for now I'm gonna change it to this and I'm gonna take a look at uh, the code and see if uh, the if it's actually requires to make any changes we're gonna go through it so it is oh um, let's set it to this for now okay so um, uh, I took the const out over there um, I'm gonna double check and make sure that uh, uh, it is correct so let's let's read it so this function receives an array of robots prints a report or informa information and a warning message that is displayed if the robots uh, with less than 30 percent remaining battery they, they, they have less than 30 percent remaining battery uh, the warning message displays the number of robots with low battery and also displays the sorted list of robots and the battery power in descending order. Note that invalid robots are not displayed. So no, it could be const. It doesn't change anything in the robots. It just displays. So I would do this as const. Okay. That's the proper way of doing it. Okay, so that's that. And this is going to be version 1.1. Okay, report signature corrected. Okay. So that's that. And all the other const for short will should be gone too. I will double check and make sure everything's good before I submit, before I post these. So uh, um, let me check. Give me a second, please. I'm just bringing the, the dev up to make sure that it actually compiles and runs if it's a if there's a mistake I don't want to post a mistake for you just a second so no it cannot be a constant because it's sorting okay because it's sorting it needs to be able to uh, um, reorder that so report actually needs to have that one as as um, report needs uh, reports need that to be I, did I went all the way there up for some reason yeah so let me bring it back over here but so this const has to be removed because it has to sort it uh, now but that short is supposed to remain short uh, uh, so uh, yeah so that's that and that's the main that is testing them and the rest is I think that's it that's the only thing there the rest of it is very open-ended you can do whatever you want to do with them uh, any questions
that's it so uh, yeah so the uh, yeah that uh, the only thing that was absolutely not necessary and was a wrong thing to do is to make this const because it is passed by value anyway then who cares if it's const or not um, so I put it that way so we know um, uh, that's it so this is workshop four. any other question before we end the overview session any questions Win, Claire, no questions? Win, none? No? Okay. All right, thank you. And that's it. I will post the YouTube video and I'm going to put the link right in there so we have access to it. Yes, Wichi. Yuchi, sorry. Uh, so, sorry, Professor. I forgot to ask you a question because uh, it seems like uh, yesterday you forget to upload in the first video of the class. First part of the video. Huh? Oh, there is yeah. no first part. Uh, it's about the constructor, destructor, and this, and then the second part is about the uh, member operation, operator. Oh, okay. So, if, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check to see if there is a YouTube video for. So, which section are you in, Vin? NAA. NAA. Um, let me uh, let me pause. Let me stop the recording over here first. Stop. Okay, yeah. Thanks.